Today we're reading Ephesians 4 together as a church and it is a great chapter. It's difficult to focus on just one element of the passage. There's so much wisdom that's packed in there. I would encourage you if you can to read this chapter multiple times today and I'm sure God will speak to you in different ways through different verses each time. I love verses 11 to 13, where Paul talks about the church and how God uses those within the church to equip us. And that when we come together as a church, it allows us to experience the fullness of Christ. This season has been very different when it comes to gathering together as a church. But one thing that hasn't changed is God. He never changes. And I still believe that when we meet together, be it online, we have the opportunity to experience more of the fullness of Christ. Many of us will be finding life difficult at the moment. We're likely to not have lived the perfect life over the past few weeks and months. But don't allow yourself to feel shame or condemnation as you read through this passage. Instead, see it as a challenge to turn again from old ways which you might have slipped back into and to put off your old self. Why not come and join us this Sunday at Redeemer online? And more than that, raise your expectations. Expect to experience more of the fullness of Christ. After all, encounter with God is what allows us to be transformed into people who live the way that this passage encourages us to live. We want to be those who build one another up, who are kind and compassionate. And the journey to that place starts in the place where we can experience the fullness of Christ. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for the church. I thank you for Redeemer and the incredible people that are part of the church. I thank you that even in this season, we are able to still meet together online. And I thank you that as we come together, we are able to experience more of you. I pray, would you help us to raise our expectations as we come this Sunday and that you would meet powerfully with each and every one of us, that we might experience more of the fullness of Christ. Amen.